Hello, welcome back to the channel. This week I'm going to cook a dish which is known as TikTok pasta. It actually went viral during lockdown and I don't know what the hype was all about so I'm going to try it. If you'd like to, you can try it too. So please watch along and I'll show you how to do this very, very nice dish. See you in a minute. Bye. Okay, first of all, start off by getting your tomatoes, put them into a dish and cover them with olive oil. Now add some salt and some pepper. Don't add too much salt because you've already got a salty feta cheese. So give it a good coating all over there. And then the next thing to do is place your cheese in the middle of the dish. I can only get small blocks of cheese, so just place them in where you can. In the middle is the best place. There you go, all in there. Once that's done, what you want to do is add in your peppers if required. Now I put peppers in it simply because I like the taste of them, but on the regular dish you didn't have them. Get yourself some pasta on the boil ready to put over the top of your dish when it's completed. Right, now that all that is there, add in some garlic paste and then mix it all together with some basil leaves. Now place this in the oven at 200 degrees and let it cook until they're all soft. There you can see them in the oven. Once they come out of the oven, burst all the tomatoes. Bit of hard work doing it this way. Then we had an idea from my wife to use a potato masher, much easier, look at that, and squash it all down and then you can see it's a lot more even. Add the pasta on top and then once you've added the pasta then you want to add some pasta water on top of it and this gives it a little bit of a silky texture and it makes a lot of difference. There you are, just adding in that little bit of water to it and then it's ready to enjoy. Hello, well I've cooked that and I must agree it was a worthwhile dish. I can see what the fuss was all about, very easy to make and very tasty. So try to make this and I'm sure you'll agree with me that this is worth doing and I'll see you again for another video next week. Bye.